Okay, welcome to Exeter on day three here of the National Hunt, week two. And we've got the Sporting Bet Howland Gold Cup up first, which is a two mile one and a half, two mile one and a half furlongs. is a grade two handicap. And number one is Sea Fever. Two is Colbeck. Three, the King's Estate. Four, Orange Goes Red. Five, Elizabeth Van. Six, Le Chien. Seven, Armed Warhead. Eight is Paddington. Nine is Sonic Lady. Ten is Emma Jane. Eleven is Gilda. And Quirrell Rock for Jim Murray is number 12. As you can see there, they have to go uphill here at Exeter. There's good ground conditions. Got four races to bring you today from here. And they're away. There we are as they approach the grandstand. And I think this first fence they take here will actually be the last next time round. It's a very short run in here to the finish. And the first one to rise was Elizabeth Van for Del Hinton. And here's the crowd waving them on here at Exeter. They go past the big screen. And the winning post with a circuit to go. So as we join back with them, it's Elizabeth Fan that's going to take them into the bend here. Leads by four. Then we've got Orange Goes Red and Colbeck. And Emma Jane. As they approach the second. And with Emma Jane is armed warhead Sonic Lady. Paddington, that's the water. And Sea Fever. And then followed through by Quill Rock, La Chienne, Gilda and the King's Estate. And straight into the third. And he's jumped that well. Paddington took it quite well in the black silks on the outside. But Elizabeth Fan still leading from the grey Colbeck. And orange goes red. And over the third, the ditch. And when he goes, shakes it well. Bowling along here. And through turn to the next. Actually, that was the fourth. I do apologise. Not keeping up with my numbers. But it's still Elizabeth Fan that leads for Del Hinton. By five lengths now to Colbeck, and orange goes red. And there's Sonic Lady, Emma Jane slightly on the outside with the yellow cap, an armed warhead against the fence. And they're being followed through by Gilda, Quill Rock, La Chienne, Sea Fever, and the King's Estate. That's quite a run to this fifth fence. And Elizabeth Van's advice just getting short, and they have to go uphill here. So find the the weaker horses out. There's been a few being pushed along just to get up this hill. And it's still Elizabeth Van that reaches the peak first. And we're just over a mile and a furlong left to run. And still another eight fences to jump. So it's Elizabeth Van that still leads us from the grey Colbeck. Orange goes red on the inside of that. Further inside is Sonic Lady. They go to the fifth. Everybody gets over it. Good jump, although La Chienne for hands wasn't too good over that one. But uh, Jockey jostles him along as they approach the six. Everybody takes that, although well, Elizabeth Van was a little bit slower than the rest. And Sonic Ladies decided to take second on her own. So approached the seventh. Oh, and he went straight through the top there, Elizabeth Van. And that's a, his advantage gone. Because now he's joined by the rest as they go over the eighth. So it's Elizabeth Van, Sonic Lady, Emma Jane, and Colbeck, these four. One moving up on the outside in the black silks is Paddington. They've been followed through by Quill Rock, Orange Goes Red, Armed Warhead, La Chienne. They've got Gilled Up, Sea Fever, and the King's Estate just being uh, hurried along just to get back into the game. So we've just got a four and a half furlongs left to run, and there's still another four fences to jump, and it's Sonic Lady that heads for home first, with Elizabeth Van on the inside, on the outside of that is Paddington, then we've got Emma Jane and, and Colbeck. Colbeck the Grey's got nowhere to go at the moment. The one coming through the pack is La Chienne, on the outside is Orange Goes Red, moving up on the inside is Gilda. The one also has moved out now is Armed Warhead, but it's still Sonic Lady at the front by half a length to La Chienne. They take the ninth. Everybody gets over it, and it's still Sonic Lady for Graham Clutterbuck. Leads by a couple of lengths into the tenth. He's over that well. Nice fast jump and starting to pull away now. We're under two furlongs left to run. We've only got a couple to jump. They go to the eleventh. He's over that Sonic Lady comfortably. La Chienne chasing hard. Here comes Colbeck. He's got a little bit of room now, but I'm not sure if they're going to catch this Sonic Lady. We've got a very sh short run in here. If you get over the twelfth, he jumps it well and fast. Takes it well. The one that's Trying to make up the ground is armed warhead, but I think he may well have left this too late. Sonic Lady for Grand Clutterbuck's going to take this. Fast finishing armed warhead's going to get second for Paul Rhodes. I think La Chienne for Hands is third. I'm not sure we finished fourth there. Let's just wait for the card to come in. It's Sonic Lady for Grand Clutterbuck. Good win there. Second was armed warhead for Paul Rhodes. Third was La Chienne for Hands. Fourth was Guild for Kevin Meenahan. And fifth was Emma Jane for Ghost Sapper Stables, which managed to stay on its feet for its first time ever.